it's me, your teacher, Mix Lydia, here with another music class. So, today we're going to be building instruments. So, let's see what's in our supply bag today. Today in our supply bag we have a little box, a little cardboard box. We have rubber bands and we have some little pieces of straw. We can also use a pencil or a marker or anything, but just something, yeah, like that. Very good. Okay, so today we're going to be making rubber band dulcimers. What's a dulcimer, you ask? Well, a dulcimer is a string instrument on a wooden frame with uh, strings that go across the entire body, and you hit it either with mallets or you can pluck it with your fingers. All right, so. To make our dulcimer, the first step we're going to do is put a rubber band across our box, just like that. You see that? How I have my rubber band going all the way through? Now, if I play that just like that, it doesn't make a very good sound. I mean, maybe a percussive sound. Boom, 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 right? You can do something like that. But it doesn't make a big, a good pitch. So in order for it to make a pitch, I need a driver or a bridge. I need something to move the sound into the box where it's going to resonate. So if I take my rubber band and I just place it right under the string like that, the rubber band, you hear that? We get these different pitches, right? Now as I move the rubber band to the side, that's a really low pitch. If I move the rubber band down, you hear how it goes up? Boop, 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 Now I can do that with any box, not just the shoe box. I can do it with my tissue box, right? So same idea, I took a tissue box and then I used a pencil, right? And now I can make my dulcimer with that. Uh, it changes pitches. Nice. And I found a really excellent box. This I think is my favorite box that I found so far. So again, this could just be like a shoe box. This is a headphone box. And I'm going to take my rubber band. I'm going to put it right under there. just by doing that. I can do it on the other side too. And based on how tight the string is, if it's really tight and really small, I get a really tiny pitch. And if it's really long, then my string is going to make a really low sound, right? So that is our hammer dulcimers, or our rubber band dulcimers. So check it out, we just made some rubber band dulcimers. Now I can add as many strings or as few strings as I want to my dulcimer. I can have a few different pitches going on. Maybe this one's going to be a high pitch, this one's going to be a low pitch. Ooh, careful there. All right, good job everybody. Hey folks. So, some of you were wondering, Mix Lydia, what's a dulcimer? So, I wanted to demonstrate. This is a hammered dulcimer. This is an Appalachian dulcimer, and I play it with these cute little hammers. They look like this. So, you might notice that the strings are going across the entire instrument, and then I have this bridge here in the middle, kind of like the straws that we used in our, our string dulcimers. Right? And that divides the string so that sometimes I get a really low sound when the string is very long. And if it's very short, then it's going to be a very high pitched sound. Right? So my long sound versus my high sound. Right? So 
that's what the string dulcimer or hammer dulcimer looks and sounds like.